Hey, aloha gang. Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. I'm your host, Joe, and uh, this is a fish and dive show made just for you. So if you guys are into that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Um, on this episode, I'm actually going to go with uh, two of your favorite besides myself is uh, Brother Gavin and Brother Keith. Uh, those guys are always just a good, fun time to fish and dive with. And my firefighter recruit classmates, um, been friends with them forever. Um, so we're going to actually go uh, fish and dive. We're actually going to go a little taco in the beginning. And then actually, I want to try dive for some fish. Actually, I, I changed out my um, my rubbers on my gun. So, you know, whenever you do that, you kind of have to um, go out there and test it out. Because it feels like I'm shooting a little off. Because if it's too tight or too loose, whatever, it kind of will throw off your shot. So... I'll probably go on a couple of papas and then maybe shoot a bunch of Roy's or other toppies, towels and stuff. Maybe try to help clear the reef, clean the reef out of this invasive species and um, also get some target practice in. So wish us luck. All right, let's go. Holo holo. <laughs> Hopefully we do good. Alright, see you guys in the water. Let's go. Holo holo. <laughs> okay, so it's actually kind of a nice day, but underwater it's kind of a little murky. So we have to kind of go shallow because it was, it's kind of murked out to be honest. And the more we kind of searched around, it was pretty dead. I mean, all together, it's just one of those days, you know, you kind of didn't really see too many things um but that's the way it is with fishing it's kind of seasons right some sometimes there are a lot sometimes not as much but oh there's one okay you guys see it this one's kind of hard but watch when i get closer it's like bam you guys got it now so look for any kind of rocks anything so over here you can actually see that there's tons of red and white and all these different color rocks and they all look kind of fresh but i want you to take a particular look at this hole you see how all those rocks are stacked right in front of the hole? So, you know when you see all these brightly colored rocks all over the place? This one is a telltale sign because you see how it's just stacked perfectly all in front of the hole compared to all the other red rocks, right? Obviously, this was empty, but I just wanted to show you guys that. And uh, <laughs> so, we actually went for a while, for like an hour or two and then nothing. So, um, yeah, <laughs> so we decided to just, you know what? pick up and just try someplace else and we'll go for some fish but uh, the only thing we actually found was an anchor <laughs> you never catch nothing <laughs> well, we found whoever's anchor this is you let me know in a week where you lost it I'll give it back <laughs> So we decided to take um, a drop by coming out of Papa's, like we went to like several different ones, but this is probably the cleanest of the couple I went to. So I think really far in the distance, I see a Roy, you probably can't even see it in the video, but he's kind of tucking himself, they always kind of tuck themselves up behind um, coral heads or inside like little holes. So, but yep, yeah. <laughs> I was shooting off and getting tangled and every, it's just one of those days, let me tell you. <laughs> so, you know, if you ever think you're having one of those days, it's it's just fishing, you know. Some days you can have good days, some days you can have bad days, but main thing you just get out there, right? So, all right, here we go. I reloaded, and then I was looking for some fish, and then here we go. Nope. But actually, when I ran into Keith after, I said, hey, did you see anything? Because I didn't really see much. He said he actually saw an alua come in, but it, it was booking. It wasn't cruising. It was just kind of going by, so he couldn't get a shot on it. And pretty much that was the only thing we saw uh, on that whole dive trip. Of That's worth really shooting. So even for cleaning a reef was pretty slim pickings as far as roys and toals and stuff, which is surprising. Uh, so I guess that might be a good thing. But all right. Thank you. 
So I was just reloading my gun, and <laughs> out of nowhere, I just seen this thing move. I was like, "All right, <laughs> hurrah! Ja. At least you got one taco, you know." Uh, hopefully I can give it to my neighbor. I, um, her husband used to dive a lot actually in Kanye Bay, but you know, it's too old to dive already, so this would be a good gift for them. So, oh, <laughs> super blessed. <laughs> you know how last time we pounded? This is the gift back. Yeah? We never catch. It's a <laughs> We never catch nothing. In fact, I'll show you where we're at. Right? <laughs> <laughs> We're right here. Here, I show you the mountains, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, freaking nothing. <laughs> Since we couldn't do anything right in the water, we decided to, hey, you know what? Let's just go uh, troll a little bit, and uh, hopefully we, we'll catch a like, some pure or something. So, wish us luck. Yeah, gotta be like, oh, psych, man. <laughs> oh, sh nah, nah, nah. <laughs> For real, oh, it sucks. You think this one would catch deeper? Must be a human one core ahead, huh? Sorry, it's just this one. Yeah, and then once you bring them out, all, all you turn. Yeah. <laughs> so all we caught on this trip was the reef and a suntan. <laughs> but at least with these two guys, you're gonna always catch some fond memories, or at least some fun ones. So love these guys. Bailing, <laughs> oh, bailing. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's fishy ice water too. <laughs> Thank you guys again for joining me on another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. This was a really fun one. Um, even if we didn't catch, but I guess, you know, that's how it is. Like, sometimes you can go and catch a lot or, you know, get lucky. And then a lot of times it's like this. And But you can't just give up. It's almost like practicing your craft. You got to just keep um, just keep doing it, you know. Consistency is key, right? And um, what's so cool about it is... Even if I didn't catch anything or nothing really, um, I was actually at least, at least able to catch one taco to get to my neighbor. And also, I got to have a great time with my buddies. So it's you're catching more than fish. You're catching memories, right? So just get out there. And uh, oh, and if you're not a subscriber yet, please make sure you guys uh, hit that subscribe and notification button. That way uh, you can catch every episode. Uh, I try to release one every week, usually at Sundays at 6. So make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. And uh, remember, take care of yourself and take care of others. Catch you on the next one. Aloha.